A new AI deal just dropped and it's called Icky AI. Now it's different from other AI systems out there because this one lets you create a knowledge base or library based on what you research. That means that we can use the AI based on the things that we are researching on and not the whole web or just general information out there. So let's go check it out right now. What's up everyone? This is Icky AI and I think it's really interesting because the way it actually lets you use AI is different from other AI out there. Now, right now it's on a lifetime deal and the price is going to increase in a few days. Okay. So let me show you the deal really quickly. Remember there's, this, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead and test it and refund it if you don't like it. Okay. So tier one, which would be more, more than enough for most of us is for example, one user, five hours of monthly video, video transcription and 200 co-pilot requests per month. So if you don't plan to go above this, you're definitely good with tier one, which is at a great price. But the sweet spot is going to be tier two, which is the unlimited co-pilot request per month. But I mean, if you can do with this $39 deal, that's definitely more than enough. But if not, there's tier two and three, right? So Iki AI, what makes it different? So first of all, you can use Iki AI like you would with other traditional AI systems out there like ChatGPT, uh, Sonnet and all of those. Okay. For example, I can do a web search like it would do it with ChatGPT, which eh, doesn't make it interesting for me. There's the library. That's where it really shines. Now, if I select library, it's going to analyze everything that I've saved in my library. So I can uh, upload PDFs, CSVs, text notes, plain text. I can add links right here. I can add a list of links and I can add them to library. And based on that research that I've made is the questions that I, I can ask right here. For example, I've uploaded a few things for coffee so I can say, what is the average price for coffee? Okay, let's go ahead and select that. And based on what I've researched is how it's going to get the data. Here it is. So the price range for this one is $15 with 75 cents to over $25 for different coffee products. And this got it from the data that I have provided in my library. So for example, I can say something else like, for example, I can ask it what type of grinders are under 1000. And let's see what it responds to us. There it is. These are the grinders that are under 1000. And in this library, this is what I have. So you get an idea. So for example, in my collection for library, there is a PDF that I uploaded for accessories. There's a PDF for coffee bags that are being sold, some matcha things and some other links. For example, shop.cafacio, starbucks.com.mx, starbucks.com, etc. All right. So based on the whole library, I can ask it questions. And that's what sets apart Iki AI. Now, if I also have the option to create collections. So in this case, I can really specifically start the AI system with this. For example, this is my collection for coffee things. And again, I uploaded my PDF, some websites, etc. And I can use this right here. So I can ask Iki for some information here. I can choose the AI model that I want to use GPT 4.0 mini, GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, right? I'll use this one. And then I can have these little quick ideas, for example, write a tweet and it's going to write the tweet based on this information that is provided. Okay. Check that out. Or I can ask it something like, for example, what is the lowest price for a coffee grinder? So it's like that. And it's going to read the information. And here it is. This is the lowest price for the grinder. $1,300 for the Ario mini, which is pesos in this case, because it's in Spanish. And it grabbed the information from this selection on my data here on my library. So just like that, it gives you the idea of how you can use Iki AI. The idea is to create your collections, add that information with the options that it provides you here. For example, uploading the PDF, CSV text or at note library or at links right here. And it's going to read that data and have it ready for you to use here on Iki AI. Now, there's also a community where you can sign up where other people are doing research and adding things into their own library that they make public and you can sign into it and use that data. For example, go to strategies or, for example, LLM for beginners. For example, that can seem interesting for me. I can go ahead and save this bookmark it and give me my recommendations and I can actually use this because it's public and I can also have this bookmarked over here where I can go ahead and view it later on. And here it is. So it's really neat that they have this community there. There's also peers here by individual people and you can subscribe to them right there for that data that is being saved. There's also the following for people, which makes things interesting because it becomes a community more than just the AI system where 
you don't need to actually do all the research maybe other people are being cool out there and making the library public where we can actually use them so do consider icky ai as i mentioned before i think the price point is in range so it's a good price right now for the lifetime deal remember it's going to increase in a few days so i would recommend if you're kind of interested or interested grab it right now and test that out with the 60 day money back guarantee so in case you don't like it you can go ahead and refund it if you do well go ahead and keep it and that is the icky ai video that's a wrap